Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week is uh, video cast number 45 for beginners. And for beginners. Mm. For beginners. And we have a suggestion. Now, I'm just going to say, I hope that this suggestion is, has been given just so that he can advertise his business because the suggestion has come from grill manners of UK grill guys <laughs> so, yeah. uh, maybe a suggestion just, by uh, Coca-Cola <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah we've got another one from um, uh, UK McDonald's Big Mac <laughs> wants to know How do you say how do you say hamburger in Spanish with fries and all the additions for only one euro? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> so we're gonna talk about sorry about that. We're gonna talk about um <laughs> we're gonna talk about the difference between pero and sino. Okay? okay, so that's what grill manners. I think I think his name's Grill Manners. Okay? I think. Okay. Yeah. Ok, entonces nos vemos en la segunda parte. <laughs> ok, so this is in English, this lesson. Sorry, we're still giggling from the, the front bit. Um, pero, si no. If you look in the dictionary, pero is but. Yeah? And sino... Or, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or, or button, yes. But, just but, huh? Yes, we we'll but. just stay with it. We'll no, I was thinking of except, I don't know. Ah, um, okay. Never mind. All right. Move on. So, Uh, I don't want that. Oh, no, how would you say that? Anyway, I think about that. We'll cut that out. I've just okay. cut that out. Cut that out. Start again. Uh, grill, okay. grill manners. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. UK grill guys. Okay, grill okay. guys. So, but is pero. All right. So that's just so an example. Give us a nice example of, of using pero in a sentence. Oh my god! I can't think of anything with pero now. Uh, no me gustan. Eh, las manzanas, pero me gustan las naranjas. Okay, so nice and simple. I don't like apples, but I like uh, oranges. Yeah. Okay, so that's a classic but. Yeah. And with excepto, I want everything but this. Ah, okay. Quiero yeah. todo excepto. Esto. Okay. Or except for this, you would say. Yeah, except for this. But also in that sentence, you could use menos, couldn't you? Menos as well. Yeah. Todo menos, menos esto. Menos esto. Mm. Minus, minus this. Minus, less that. Yeah. Um, okay. So, but in terms of in English, but, pero, just as we use but. Yes. However, we have in English a but rather. But rather. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when we get a but rather, then we have to use sino in in uh, Spanish okay so thinking about that um, sentence I don't yeah. like so, yes I don't like apples but rather oranges. I like oranges no me gustan las manzanas sino las naranjas mm. sino las naranjas okay so but rather all right yes so you've got to be you you've got to be careful don't When you're translating in, in Spanish, we come up to a but and we think, right, that'll be pero. But if it's but, uh, but what was the word? But what? But rather. But rather. <laughs> okay, but That's rather. That's only four minutes into the Okay, the but video. rather. Then you've, you, uh, you've got to be careful and that's going to be sino. Then we've got this not only but also okay which is also okay. the sino it involves the sino so you've got but rather yep. and a but also they're the ones that need sino so for example um i don't just like mm, uh, apples 
but also I like oranges. I like, or- but we would say, but I like oranges also. I like oranges too. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. We split the the but and the also. Okay. So how would that go? Um, no solo me gustan las manzanas, sino también las naranjas. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sino también las naranjas. When do we use sino okay? qué? Um, Pablo eh, no está en casa, sino que está en el trabajo. Ok. So, with sino que, we're going to add a verb afterwards. Sino que, verb. All right. But in, in English, it still translates as but rather. He's not at home, but rather he's at work. Ok. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So... Even though, right, we, you, sometimes you're going to use sino. It, sino you can use um, with with items, nouns and stuff like that. And with verbs. Yes. But if you use sino que, it's got to go with a verb. Sino que goes with a verb. Yeah. Or you could have sino que, an adverb, like sino que también, and then a verb. Yeah. You could have that an adverb in, in between, mm. but it has to be followed by a verb. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So either yeah. immediately after a verb... O también, and, mm. o tampoco, también o tampoco. Okay. So um, one of the one of the big errors that we make, uh, we hear, is when somebody says, um, no solo me gustan las manzanas, pero me gustan las naranjas. Uh-huh. También, o pero también me gustan las naranjas, which would be, I don't just like apples, but I also like oranges. It's when you've got there's no solo. It's a trigger. The next, if you're going to have a but, uh, you're going to have to use the sino. Yeah? Um, for example, you could say, um, no me gustan las manzanas, pero me gustan las naranjas. Exactly. Okay, so I don't like yeah. apples, but I like um, oranges. oranges. Yeah. I couldn't think of the, the fruit. What, what fruit was it? Oranges. Yeah. Okay, yes, you can say that. Uh-huh. Yeah, you don't have to use the the sino. Yes. But if you start with no solo, you have to. Yes. Yeah? Or you can say, no me gustan las manzanas, sino las naranjas. Exactly. Yeah? You go straight into the into the names of the things. Mm-hmm. But rather. So remember, sino is but rather, um, and pero so is just but. So it's like part of the same sentence. Yeah. With the pero, will be two sentences. Yeah, mm. we, and pero would be the, the nexus, Perhaps. connecting the two sentences. So, no me gustan las manzanas, that's a sentence. Me gustan las naranjas, that's another sentence. So, we we unite them with the ne- nexo. As you like. Mm. Could be. The okay. link. The link, the missing link, pero. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> no me gusta, mm, pero me gusta, mm. Okay, the other one is only one sentence. No me gustan las manzanas, sino las naranjas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a tricky little one. It catches. It does catch us out. But once you understand what it's doing, you know that that sino is always but, also or but what was the other one? But rather. But rather. Yeah. But rather. You're struggling today with it, but rather. <laughs> but rather, yeah. Couldn't, wouldn't come to mind, yeah. I don't but think rather. you use it that much. I don't think no. I've heard but rather that much in English. No. No, we probably say it a different just, way just, now. Just, how would you say it? Just but. Uh, uh, but. Mm. Yeah. But rather. I, it, it, it's, it's quite, it sounds quite formal to us. You know? Right. I don't, I don't like this, but, but rather I prefer. So how would you say, what, was the, what would be so the easiest way in English to say? I don't say? like that. Um... But, but I do like these. Oh, okay. But I do prefer that. But, so if yeah. you wanted to go and use that option, then you would have to add the C. Bit because C. the do, that do, but I do like. Yeah. Or, you know, that emphasis, that yeah. do for emphasis. It would be a C. No me gustan las manzanas, pero sí, with an accent, pero sí me gustan las naranjas. Yeah. That's another option. So we, we say, I don't like um, apples, but I do like oranges. I and do in like... Spain, they say, I don't like apples, but yes, I like oranges. But I, yes, uh, or 
Hmm. Yeah, but yes, I like yes, oranges. I like oranges. That's, that's their do. Because the do doesn't exist. No do's here. There are no do's. No, we don't have um, that auxiliary. The auxiliary. We don't need do. for the auxiliary verb. Yeah. We don't need it because we have question marks at the beginning. So we know it's a question. Exclamation mark. So we know it's an exclamation. And we have the C. So we know. She's always See swanking. No. Always swanking about <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> We've got you know, this, Spanish is the only that. Spanish is the only language that has the two question marks, the upside down. Yeah. And well, the upside down will be the last one, the straight and the upside down, and the straight and the upside down um, exclamation mark. Mm. It's the only language in the world. Very good. It's cool, eh? Yeah. So we don't need the auxiliary verb. And unfortunately, ninety percent of the Spanish people. Leave it off. Oh, yeah. When they write, yes. Yeah. When they text. Mm-hmm. Not nice. I don't. I'm like... I know you don't. I know. Nor question. do I. It's a question. <laughs> I don't leave it off because if I did, Cynthia would kill me. Yes, I check. I check all the messages. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Failed. <laughs> puts on a little grandma nazi hat. <laughs> grandma nazi hat and she checks through my mails. Not to see if I'm chatting with other women. It's to see if I'm putting all them. <laughs> All of my uh, yes. Even if you're chatting to other women, I'd be like, uh, "Excuse, come here." How dare you? Why do you How dare you? Question mark. You were talking to Lola, and you <laughs> you didn't put. And where's the accent here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I would kill you. And then after then I react to, but the, I don't. The other. I don't do that anyway. I mean, Cynthia well, could the accents right now. The, no, I do do the accents. <laughs> Cynthia could look through all my messages and she wouldn't find any incriminating evidence. That's true. I have this on this other mobile. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wouldn't be the only person with two mobiles. I'm not, I haven't got two mobiles, by the way. I've just got one. No en este móvil, sino, sino en este. En ese, sí, sí. No solo tengo un móvil. Sino, sino también sino tengo también. otro móvil. Otro, sí. El móvil de trabajo. <risa> sí, sí, el negocio me lo el paga, negocio, me sí, lo sí. paga sí. Y, y, y es sí, las sí. contraseñas del negocio. I live with him. Sí. Mm-hmm. Imagine. There you are. So there you are. Um, grill manners. Grill manners. UK grill guys. At a house near you soon. <risa> with the phone number at the bottom. <risa> And now a word from our sponsors. <laughs> yeah. Don't you just hear that when you're watching it? You're watching something and you're, it's going to be really interesting to go. But before that, talking about grills. <laughs> like, you forcing it in. Talking about grills. No, the yeah. worst The worst is when they say... I don't even know what kind of grill it is. Whether it's a, like a, 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 um, a grill that you cook meat on grill, or grill know. on a window. I don't know. What kind of grill is it? I don't know. Not yeah. Grill manners. Well, there are lots of people working there because grill guys. Grill guys, and so there's more be, than one. It must be a big grill. And more than one. That's all that we're <laughs> going to assume. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you were going to say something. No, I said that. I was going to say that the worst thing is when they go. Lots of you has been uh, have been asking me <laughs> about <laughs> who who's asked you about that, and then like yeah, lots of you have been asking. All about, my neighbors about have my been, book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All my neighbours have been asking about the grills that I've got in my house. I got loads of emails from yeah. you asking yeah. me why, why <laughs> about this jumper. This jumper is from. <laughs> it's like, come uh, on. Anyway. So there you are. We've probably mentioned your business now yes. 10 times. Let's hope that you get some business from it. But if you don't, at least you might be able to use Pedro and Sino bien. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. At least one of the two. One of the yeah. two. <laughs> Hopefully both. <laughs> Por lo menos una vez. Muy bien, chicos. Pues... Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.